The city just took the first step in the process of potentially moving the Duval County Jail. A city council committee met to talk about building a new lockup in a new location. The jail has been downtown for 31 years, but over the past four years, there has been growing talk about relocating. At the committee meeting, we learned the jail is not the only building we could see moved. The sheriff's office could also be moved. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett is showing us these possible changes with the help of our Sky 4 drone. 31 years ago, I was standing here in front of the jail when it opened. And now, with the help of Sky 4 drone, I want to show you why they want to move it. We wanted to take you inside to show you the problems. So far, they're not letting us, but they say that the jail is just a mess and they need some changes. And they're not only talking about the jail, they're talking about the whole Sheriff's Department complex. This is what the jail looked like when it first opened in April of 1991. In fact, this is video of the first inmate booked in that day. At that time, the city was under a federal court order to fix problems of housing inmates in Jacksonville. It cost $70 million at the time to build a new jail. And once they moved the inmates in from the old facilities, it was already 80% full. Today, at this special committee meeting of city council members, jail officials pointed out problems that are now occurring at the jail. With the current state of the facility, with the pipes and the plumbing and the HVAC, I don't think expanding it would be a feasible option. The committee also heard there was concern the city could end up under another court order to fix problems. Members were also told about similar problems at the police memorial building, the sheriff's office next door, particularly with overcrowding. In fact, there's legislation being considered right now to move some of the sheriff's office staff to the Florida Blue Building in Riverside. Is all of this happening because they want to redevelop that area and say, let's just get the jail out of here? It doesn't need well, to be Well, I've had no conversations with anybody about the external pressures of moving this jail. And I understand and I appreciate the fact that there are players out there who are interested in seeing that jail moved. I fully expect that this is a precursor to that process, but my focus is on what kind of facility or facilities do we need. If the jail and the sheriff's office were to be moved, it would cost the city hundreds of millions of dollars to do so. But there's also the question of where, and it seemed a general consensus could be somewhere near the courthouse. So yes, it's about moving the jail, but as we look at moving it, what's going to be there? Um, do we need more land? Is it better? I think one of the lessons that we learned is that it's probably better to go horizontal as opposed to vertical. So this is just a start. This committee is going to meet many times to discuss the options and what could actually happen with the jail. And then when they make their recommendations, they'll of course go to full council and then to the administration to decide what's going to happen here at the jail and the sheriff's department. Jim Pegg at Channel 4, the local station.